more than any other single influence, I would say the study of the scriptures has informed some of my key ideas about what would later become my profession. And all my teaching is informed by that as well. My faith is who I am. Here at BYU, the most cherished academic freedom I can think of is my freedom to incorporate matters of faith, our sense of meaning and purpose in our existence. The emphasis on gospel principles, on our relationship with God, I think that's why I loved this class, is because every day you could feel the Spirit. Without the freedom to talk about those kinds of things, I think our students are left with a very sterile education and formulations, teaches them how to get by in this world, but without an overarching vision, meaning, and purpose that makes life fulfilling. So it's not a conscious process of bringing it in, it's just a matter of opening the floodgates and it's there already. Dr. Butler would have so much that we needed to cover. He would pause and, and say, okay, you know what? We have this much that we need to do, but I feel like we need to emphasize this or we need to talk about this. You never felt that that hindered Dr. Butler's following what the Spirit was guiding him to do. My role is not to stand in front of a class and preach or moralize. My purpose is to share my own experience as appropriate, raise the questions that fascinate me, share some of the scriptures and understandings that I've found fascinating and illuminating. So it's a respectful peer-to-peer -peer kind of dialogue about our faith.